Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be talking about seven pin trailer wiring and how to identify which blade goes to which function. And there is a difference between two standards in the United States. One is a seven pin SAE standard. That is going to be for just your regular trailers like dump trailers, goosenecks, stuff like that. And then there's an RV standard, which I have this cable here. Now the difference between them is that they have a little different color schematic. And it's okay to use one on the other, so long as you identify the wires correctly. And in this video, we're gonna go through what all the different blade functions are, show you how to determine which is which pretty easily. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be looking at, now keep in mind this is looking either at the truck or looking at the inside of the cable on the, on the trailer. So on your top right, your first position in your clock, is going to be black and it's going to be your 12 volt positive. This is where it gets power. Now, some manufacturers do do this where this is either black and I've also seen it in red. So you can't always go by the color combinations, but we're going to identify which is which here. Now, directly opposite of that, it's going to be your 12 volt negative. Now, I don't have a, can't put white on white, but this is going to be your 12 volt negative or your ground and this is going to be a white wire okay then you have right turn and left turn now on your standard this is going to be green will be right turn and it's also your uh, right stoplight so we'll just put stop so it's right turn and stoplights and this is in green now directly opposite of that, which I also don't have a yellow marker, we're gonna use orange in its place. So this is going to be your left turn and stoplight for your left side, and this is going to be in yellow. Now the next two, we have blue is generally always your brake, no matter if you're in RV or SAE standard, and that's gonna be located here. So this is your electric brakes. And that's generally always in blue. Then we have the running lights. And these are generally in brown for the SAE standard. So these are lights and in brown. And then finally, the last one is going to be your center pin. Now your center pin for SAE standard is usually a purple wire and this is your reverse lights. So the way it goes around, if you're looking at the clock, the first position in the clock is 12 volt positive. Directly opposite of that is 12 volt negative, black and white, or red and white. Right turn will be on the right hand side in green, left on the left side in yellow. Electric brakes at the third position in blue, running lights in brown at the sixth position, and reverse lights, the center pin, and generally in violet or purple. Now the RV standard is different than your SAE standard. This is what you're gonna find on travel trailers. And the problem with these are is that while they follow a certain color code, they're not always completely accurate. They vary from manufacturer of, of wires a little bit differently. So there's no true standard to either one, but as far as the, uh, the SAE standard, it's becoming, at least for the American manufacturers, they're keeping the color codes pretty much the same throughout. I haven't really seen a variation of those in quite a few years. So for the RV standard though, some of those colors are gonna change. So on your 12 volt positive, and the good thing about the RV standard and the SAE standard is the positions still re retain the same functions. So we're gonna have 12 volt positive on our first position in black, 12 volt negative directly opposite that in white. And then the other one that stays true to the same color combination is going to be your electronic brakes on the bottom right, which is in blue. Now where they're gonna change is gonna be in the lights themselves. So in the first one, we're going to have brown for our right turn stop. Our left turn is going to be in yellow. 
Oh, excuse me, in red. I apologize. In red. Then your running lights, those are going to be in green. And then finally, your reverse lights, which will be in yellow. I wish that these manufacturers would, especially between the RV standard and SAE, if they would just make one standard, but that's generally not the case. Now, keep in mind that when you're buying RV cable or when you're attaching to different RVs, these color combinations could change a little bit. So the next step is to identify which is which on your trailer itself. And I'll kind of walk you through how you can sort of do that. Before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about the wire. Now, this is a Hopkins RV standard plug. So this is a full whip that has the sealed plug on it already. Now, the three wires that are going to be your positive, negative, and your brakes, generally your positive and negative will come with a, uh, there'll be 10 gauge wire. Then your brake light can be 10 gauge, but more often than not, it's 12 gauge. And then for the remainder, the four other colors, those are going to be your running lights, your right turn, left turn, and your reverse lights. They will come in 14 gauge. Now this follows the RV standard. And so if you need to check to verify, because like I mentioned before, from manufacturer to manufacturer, those can change a little bit. So we can turn the plug around. We can look at the plug. Now keep in mind that this is going to be reversed of how we were looking at it before, because now we're looking at the trailer side and not at the truck side or the back of our trailer side. So when we do this, this is going to go in the opposite direction. So where positive was on the first position, it's actually going to be mirrored here. So this will be your positive. Directly opposite of that will be your negative. This will be your right turn because we're mirrored. This will be your left turn. This one down here will be your brakes. This one up here will be your running lights. And the center pin will remain your reverse lights. Now, if you're unsure on how to figure out which is which, the best way that I can tell you is to get a simple multimeter and just do an, uh, check them with a continuity check. So we can turn this over to our continuity checker. And let's just test, uh, first of all, our positive. So this should be our positive. We're just gonna put it on that pin. And positive here should be our black, and it is. And then if we go opposite of that, that should be our negative which should be white, and it is. And then if we go directly beside that one, that should be our blue for our electric brakes, and it is. This one should be our right turn in the RV standard. That's going to be the brown, so it should be this one, and it is. Our left turn will be over here. That will be red, and it is. And then we have our running lights, which should be here. Those are going to be your green. And the center one will be your reverse lights or your, it should be yellow. Maybe I'm not catching that correctly. There it goes. It was my error. So if you're unsure of how the wiring goes, then you can do a simple continuity check to figure that out. But in good wire, you want to make sure that your three main ones, your positive, your negative, and your brakes, all come with a higher gauge. There are some manufacturers out there, when you get cheaper stuff off of Amazon, where all the wires will come out in 14 gauge. That's not what you want. You definitely want to have larger gauge for your positive and negative, and for your brake lights, or excuse me, your electric brakes. I hope this helps to clear it up. I know with all the standards that are out there, all the different manufacturers, it's not something that is really clear, but this is a general rule that most manufacturers follow when setting up their color combinations for their seven pin connectors. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.